Now let the steering wheel float and kind of start correcting itself. I don't get that bind up issue. <laughs> that is not what we wanted to do. Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on BeamNG. We're back from being away for a little bit of time and doing some stuff in real life. If you follow my Instagram, you guys know what's going on. But now we're back here on BeamNG with this uh, turboed 350Z on Drift Playground. Everybody started drifting and I set a course on Drift Playground. So I figured, why not do it here in Beam? Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all which you in the description box below. <laughs> Let's do it. So this is a mildly turbo 350Z mod. And we're gonna go full send here. And see if we can uh, get a good drift practice first drifting in the Z. Oh, that wheel gets bound up a little bit. I think there's a suspension tune that needs to be tweaked because it gets bound up a little bit. But we're gonna go full send anyways. Second gear hero probably here. Just like in a seto when everybody was drifting the Ooh. wow that binds quick the tano buddy cars on drift playground that's where everybody kind of really started all right we gotta get this first few grips with this car oh i thought we were gonna clip that we're good yeah you can see the bind up it, I almost have to... Oh, I saw the car, too. <laughs> we we kind of have to truck the wheel or be, obviously, a little bit smoother. And not go full lock. Yeah, there's a lot of force at lock. We need to adjust that. That might be a wheel setting thing i got to adjust because that feels a little unrealistic in an orthodox. We're getting a little more confident, though. We're getting closer to the walls. Left foot brake there. Oh, we got this. We are golden right now. Oh, we're just sailing. Oh, that's I see that. A little bit of bounce, a little bit off road. Car's still good though. I let the steering wheel float and kind of start correcting itself. I don't get that bind up issue. <laughs> that is not what we wanted to do. Oh, well, why did the car stall? I was on the clutch. We kind of bashed it. I don't know how much damage. Oh, we do definitely have some damage. We definitely have some uh, engine damage too. Oh yeah, we can't even go. Well, unfortunately we have to get a new car from that then. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna try getting as close to these walls as possible. Cause we all are here for the wall snaps. Nope, yeah, let's see if we can't fix that bind issue. Let's see, let's go to my options and see. Controls, force feedback. Access, nope, cancel that. Filter automatic. Configuration, strength at lock. Let's turn that down and see if that helps. Of course. Stalls the car on us. If that might help us with the weird feeling at lock. Oh yeah, that helps. We have the strength at lock way too high. Now it feels pretty nice. It's a little wall tab. 
Saw the bumper flex just ever so slightly. This car feels so good. There's a little bit of a bind up unlocked. I think that might just be a characteristic of the car. Oh, that was that was not a bumper tap. That was not a wall tap, but I feel like we've bent front wheel totally out of place. Ah, uh, might still be good to send it. No, we are definitely not good to send it. Ah, uh, we're gonna try it anyways. See, there's definitely uh, something broken in the front of this car. <laughs> I think I love Bob Beam. Oh yeah, there's something really broke. <laughs> so, this car has, like I said, it's got some mods added to it, such as we're just running a turbo, nothing major, race exhaust, everything like that. So, if we were to... Stage two performance block. What does that change this to when it comes to uh, Enough power to be in third. Oh, but we're trying. All right, I think we need to add a little bit more power to this thing. So if we add, since we got a stage two performance block, if we go turbocharger Nissan stage one. Oh, there's way more. There's way more boost. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we're gonna pull this over here so you guys can actually see the boost. I'm gonna move my start button over here. It was attack over because I realized you guys could not see any of that. And then we're going to uh, we're gonna go. We'll send it over 25, 26 psi. Oh, I think we're gonna blow the tires off now. Third gear kick. Oh, gotta stay up. The, gotta stay up the boost up. Is not something. I'm very good at with drift cars. I usually run V8s. Oh, was a major hit. Yep. Nope. Oh, we're dying. <laughs> that just cracked my wrist. Oh, that that was painful. I don't think that is the best configuration to be running for this car but you know for sake of trial stage 3 turbo stage 3 race ECU I mean we're just gonna run stock we're probably gonna end up blowing this car up so it's probably gonna blow up. But we're gonna go full send. You guys wanna see more here on PVG? Let me know it down in the comments. Back. Oh my god! <laughs> we are back on the uh, daily grind videos with a lot of new content coming. Yeah, this car, I can't stay in boost. Too much turbo. 
by Feather in second. We can do it. Until we go head on into the wall. So I think that'll do it here for this episode. Here on BeamNG. Taking the Z out for the first time. And, uh, well... It's uh, it's definitely a very interesting, interesting when you get up in the higher power bands. So we do have a bunch of other cars that I do want to bring out for drifting and stuff like that. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll try in the description box below. Got a lot of more drift stuff here in Beam as well as race stuff and all kinds of just fun things. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.